Hi, welcome to the Twin Cities Skinny, brought to you by the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. Housing markets from New York to Los Angeles are heating up this summer, prompting concerns over whether we're in a bubble. But another 2008-style collapse is unlikely. Not only is there more frustration than irrational exuberance, there's also a lack of speculative building activity. Money is cheap to borrow, but not easy to qualify for, as in the case in bubbles. Consumers are more cautious and purchasing within their means. The unemployed can't buy homes, at least not anymore. And we have a smarter regulatory environment and improving economy. A repeat performance of the Great Recession isn't likely. Pending sales decreased 3.1% from May 2016 to 6,691 for the month. Closed sales decreased 1.1% from May 2016 to 6,246 for the month. People are buying homes in droves, and home ownership is clearly desirable. That said, sales were down this month for the simple fact that there is not enough inventory to meet demand. The number of homes for sale was down compared to this time last year. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 17.3% to 11,615 units. Despite ongoing low inventory, there are signs of improvement in new construction as builders begin to trust that today's trends could equate to future opportunity and profit. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 5.5% to $250,000. Prices are on the rise in most markets, yet these increases are happening within an economic climate that can support it. Month supply of inventory was down 20.7% to 2.3 months. Supply is behind where it was a year ago at this time, and that is not expected to change in the near future. Percent of original list price received at sale rose to 99.5% since last year. Political theater is no match for improving fundamentals, the primary driver of household formations and healthy housing markets. Even so, more existing and resale product is desperately needed to fuel such strong demand. But the four L's are still gumming up the works. Lots, labor, lending, and lumber. Although we continue to battle a supply shortage in most of the country, positive sentiment seems to be the prevailing force these days. That's the Twin Cities Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.